Jason, thank you for speaking to us. Um, could you just start by telling us how preparations are coming along for the new season? Preparations are going really, really well. Um, obviously, it's a, you know, it's a great training facility, first of all. I mean, the, the environment that's been created here, it's fantastic working alongside Patrick as well. Um, some of the boys played last night for Patrick's team, so everything's going according to plan. Um, you have been working in the academy um, before. Could you just talk us through what you've been doing over the last couple of years? Yeah, I mean, I, I retired from football um, a few years ago and I needed to spend time out of the game. I was quite intense in my playing career, so I just needed a break away from it. Got offered a few jobs and uh, turned them down, basically because, I, you know, I, have, I am a driven person and I knew that if I wanted to do it properly, it was going to take a lot of time away from, from my family life, which was really important to me. So, yeah, I've been winning the academy now. This is my third year. Um, Delighted to have got the job as 18's coach. Um, the lads have been really receptive to the information I've given them. You know, we've got a strict code of conduct that we're trying to um, put in place for them, that there's, there's guidelines to adhere to off the pitch as well. So things are going really well. They've been a really receptive group, so I'm delighted. And how much are you enjoying it? I'm delighted. I mean, it's uh, to be working at this level is a level that I'm more comfortable with. Um, that's no disrespect to the level, you know, the under 13s last year, but they had a, a great year. They were national finalists, uh, won the national finals. Um, but I've been around the group for a while. I know I'm very familiar with them. I've worked with them um, on many occasions with the previous coach. So I know the personalities, I know the strengths and weaknesses, and now it's just really getting to uh, know the new group, if you like, the, the old under 16s who are coming through in first year scholars. Um, and you said before that you needed to take a few years out of the game, but was coaching something that you always knew that you wanted to go into when you were playing? Yeah, I think so. I think um, coach, coaching or management, I think whoever played with me, uh, always around me, you know, in terms of physios, etc. I think they would all say that I was probably very inquisitive. Um, you know, I like to know the game inside out and I'm still learning. I think you don't stop learning, to be honest. I'm picking everybody's brains and... Um, if I can help the, the, the boys and understand what it takes to be a player, then uh, that's my job. I've got to, I've got to make sure that I, pre, I, I, get, I give them a rocky road, if you like. I think the psychological side is, is, is just as important as the ability side. So, you know, the, the ups and downs of football is it's, it's a roller coaster. I know that. I mean, you know, you only learn from your failures and, you, and you know, that's, that's part of uh, your development as a player. So. Um, like I say, delighted to be working with them. They've had a great start, very receptive, and hopefully now uh, looking forward to starting the season. And presumably be working very closely alongside Patrick Vieira. Yeah, I mean, you know, that was the plan. I think um, last year it was slightly different, but I think this year we're going to be working alongside each other. Uh, Patrick's obviously got a very talented group of players, and it's my job to push these players into Patrick's squad. How beneficial is it to have such a large group of the academy's players here in Croatia? Well, I think it, I mean it's very beneficial. I think I think from staff as well. I think it's you, you get to know people away from the normal training complex, if you like, at Platte Lane and Carrington. So you get to know the players individually. I think a lot better. Um, it puts them in, a, in an environment where they can't rely on their parent, the parents. You know, so they're in a strange environment. Um, and part and parcel of football these days is travelling and having that experience. So to come to a new facility, like saying that with the nice weather that we're getting here, is a, is, is a fantastic achievement for Mark Allen and his team who've put the, put this all together. And for supporters coming down to Platte Lane next season, what kind of football can they expect to see from your team? I mean, we'll, we'll play very similar to the first team. I mean, I like high intensity football. Um, I like to press high, but more importantly, I want to make sure that we. We play the right way and we play through the thirds and um, we play attractive football. Um, I think we've got to do a lot of work in the final third. I think it's now we, we've been concentrating a lot on, on build-up play. Um, but I think in the final third, I think you know that's where football matches are won and lost, in the final third and defensive third. So we'll be doing a lot of work on that. And hopefully we're going to have a, a team of players who are really proud to, to be Manchester City players and you know who fight to the end and uh, that's what's really important that we want to play football the nice way but football's not all about being, playing pretty football you've got to win the right to play football as well so we're going to have uh, whichever team we put out they'll be competitive undoubtedly.